good morning guys another wonderful morning here inside john's pass not a cloud in the sky gorgeous gorgeous weather it is a little chilly i've got a coat on just below 60 degrees when i left my house this morning we're on the back side of a weak little cold front that came blowing through our area i bet the fishing was ecstatic yesterday ahead of this front now probably is going to pick back up for us in a day or two once this cold front gets by and things get back to normal however we won't be able to take advantage because hubbard's marina still remains closed if you missed the announcement yesterday we are going to remain closed through the month of april we plan to reopen on may 1st that is our tentative goal is may 1st reopening get out there for the amberjack season that starts up in may we're looking forward to that amberjack season is again may august september and october so hoping to get out there may 1st for amberjacks uh luckily i'm not too injured for those of you who missed the video yesterday i fell <laughs> i was getting on the boat to do that video at 10 a.m yesterday or 10 30 a.m and i uh, went to jump on the boat and slipped and almost ended up in the water luckily my cat like reflexes <laughs> saved me i was able to pull myself up on the boat moving a little slower today definitely a uh, little sore but hey didn't end up in the water saved my phone and saved uh other things that were in my pocket so just enjoying this beautiful sunrise with you guys hopefully everybody else is enjoying the view from home staying safe staying healthy the the fishing is going to be i think really good on the back side of this whole thing because a lot of people are not fishing especially now with this statewide stay at home order yesterday the governor of florida ron DeSantis, issued a statewide stay at home order uh it's kind of like a stay at home order with a question mark because there's a lot of things that it allows you to still go out and do but hopefully people will get the gist and stay home and stay safe um, but regardless i have a feeling that on the back side of this whole thing we're gonna get some really great fishing because our areas are gonna get a lot of rest we've been closed for 10 days now and we're going to remain closed another 30 so a total of 40 days closed which is epic unheard of uh first time ever hubbard's marina has been around since 1928 nearly a hundred years and four generations and we have never closed our doors for more than a 24-hour period so this is definitely unprecedented times that we're dealing with here in the in the world in our country in our state and in our county in our community but uh we're doing the best we can keeping everybody safe and healthy today we will have our phones open from 10 a.m to 4 p.m we're gonna have people on our phones answering phones and making the last rounds of those calls if you had a trip book from April 7th to April 30th, uh, we are uh, making the calls to get you rescheduled to another trip or moving to a gift card. And uh, today would be your last opportunity to talk to someone on the phone from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. again. 10 a.m. to 4, give us a shout or we'll call you. We've called everybody who had a reservation and uh, Today we're going to be open finalizing those phone calls and making sure everybody was reached. And then we are going to stay at home. That statewide stay at home order is going to be strictly enforced here at Hubbard's Marina. The only, only thing that we're going to be doing is coming down occasionally to check on our boats, make sure that they're staying safe, staying nice and secure, and of course staying ready to uh reopen may 1st um but looking forward to this summer red snapper season is june and july and all the way through end of day august 1st 
So we got red snapper season coming up. We got amberjack coming up for the month of May, August, September, and October. So a lot of good stuff going on here. And uh, until then, we're just enjoying these beautiful views together inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Uh, I know the video is a little shaky, guys. I'm going to try to order a new uh, gimbal here soon. Unfortunately, my gimbal that I normally use was victim to my, uh, my fall yesterday. It kind of blew up on me. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this beautiful view. Hopefully we'll see you Sunday night for our live stream fishing show. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. So hopefully you guys are still getting out there and staying socially, dis socially distant and enjoying some fishing. Not too many places left that you can fish from shore, uh, but John's Pass jetties are able to be fished from as long as you're staying away from other people. And of course, there's a lot of private boats out there on the water fishing. There's been a parade of boats all morning heading out there to go enjoy this beautiful weather. And the great fishing we have, a lot of kingfish out right now. Definitely a lot of action along the beaches and our artificial reefs, hogfish bites, probably going to be pretty excited the next few days uh, after this cold front weather moves past us. Uh, April 1st is today, so that deep water grouper closure is open. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to take advantage of that till May 1st, but hey, got to stay safe and stay healthy out there, guys. We'll see you soon. We'll see you Sunday night for our live stream show, and I'll do my best to continue keeping you up to date with uh, great morning videos of the sunrise. Y'all have a great day.